North Carolina heading to Georgia Tech. And, hey, uh, you know, they're a 12-point favorite at Georgia Tech. And this game is not being played at, at Bobby Dodd Stadium or, or whatever it's called now. I think it's still Bobby Dodd. Georgia Tech, 12.5-point underdog here, total of 63.5. North Carolina, 2-5 and five against the spread of their last seven as a road favorite. And the game is at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So it's in a dome. It's on a fast track. North Carolina got things absolutely rolling in the second half against Virginia last week. Georgia Tech played really close with Clemson. Got real close to getting a win there. But I don't think that that's exactly a uh, a good look at what this team is. I don't think Georgia Tech is very good, especially without Jeff Sims, their quarterback. I, not that the backup has been bad. I, I just don't think that Georgia Tech is a good enough football team to be able to keep up or keep pace with North Carolina, and I, I my line on this was 16. I, I'm, I'm able to get it at 12 and a half. Like, yes, absolutely. Like, I, I, can, I can get North Carolina at under two touchdowns. Give me North Carolina. I, I think we might have written them or written them off a little too early. Uh, Lane Stadium is always difficult to go play in. I don't think it's that difficult to go play in Mercedes-Benz Stadium against Georgia Tech. Give me, give me North Carolina here. Yeah, North Carolina, North Carolina big. Georgia Tech's not a good football team. Which is why I am betting against Clemson as well. Yeah, yeah. Georgia Tech's not a good football team. <laughs> They're just not right now. Uh, I do hate that they lost Sims in that first game. That that just made, it, God, it made the rebuild so much more difficult because he is the one that that had a bunch of offers from other places. You know, had the offer from Florida State, et cetera, and Norville came in, told him, "Nah, we we don't want you." Georgia Tech got him. They were kind of building their offense around him, and now he's gone. I, I just, I hate it. I really hate it. If they find a way to win this ball game, though, I mean, what Jeff Collins is doing there, like he, this, will be a massive, massive recruiting win. But I don't see it. I, I think North Carolina may win this by three touchdowns. So. I will uh, I will certainly roll with the Tar Heels on that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.